The U.S. has just reached a grim milestone of now more than 200,000 COVID-19 deaths. And with the Centers for Disease Control's ever-changing guidelines, there are still questions about who should get tested and when. Let's bring in Dr. Blythe Adamson, a former member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, who is now advisor to testing for America. That's a nonprofit established to solve the testing crisis. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. And I, I want to start with a photo with image from uh, just yesterday in Pennsylvania. President Trump having a huge rally. Lots of folks there. Not a lot wearing masks, some wearing masks. But I just want your reaction in the work that you do to see images like that. What do you think when you see them? I think I hope that that was outdoors. Uh, you know, one of the things that we've just learned recently uh, and published in a new study today in clinical infectious diseases is that being indoors, you're 20 times more likely to catch COVID from an infectious person than if you were around them outdoors. Yeah, an outdoor rally, like you said, that's better than indoor, but still not uh, necessarily ideal. And here we are in this pandemic. We're six uh, plus months in and we're still having debates and back and forth about testing and some of that comes from the CDC even has had several major reversals of some of their own policies, if you will, and guidelines. What kind of damage is that doing? So, you know, obviously we need to be testing anyone with symptoms. We are testing people who had close contacts and now it's a challenge for policymakers to figure out how are we going to most effectively use tests for asymptomatic people? That's where some of the controversy has been stirred up. And, you know, if we really want kids back in school and we want businesses open, then we have to figure out, you know, who is most at risk and who do we really want to have the assurance that they are negative. It's safe to go into work. It's safe to go into school. And that's why new testing protocols are becoming so much more important before group gatherings or, you know, college campuses return. You were on the White House Coronavirus Task Force, and there's been a lot of politics involved in the pandemic, which it shouldn't be. So this is not a question about politics. How has the task force, how has it handled the pandemic in your opinion? And I know there's always room for improvement. And what would you like to see improved upon as we go forward now? Well, in my role on the White House Task Force on Hospital Resilience, uh, you know, I think so much of it was adapting and learning as we go. And now looking forward, I think that as we learn more about the transmission dynamics and understand how this is really passing through the air, uh, and we're not seeing as much evidence of transmissions coming from touching things as we thought at the beginning, I think that going forward, we have to be flexible and adapt. So as we learn more about the science, we're willing to change our public policies so that they match the best science, so that we're testing people strategically who we think are probably likely to be infected or could become super spreaders to be sure that that they are really negative before interacting with others in the community or dining in a restaurant uh, or getting on a plane. Uh, but there's just a lot of work for us to continue to do over the next couple months. And, you know, as we move forward into flu season, uh, it's it's even more important that we are able to distinguish between a viral infection that's from influenza or coronavirus. All right, my goodness, yes, flu season is upon us. Um, a lot more work to be done. Dr. Adams, it's really, really good to have you. I hope you'll uh, certainly come back. We appreciate your work, your information. Uh, so we hope to see you again. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.